Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide, and this time, we are getting it all in Under the Warehouse. This was developed by Ghoulworks, published by East Asia Soft, and is available as always for a lovingly small 4.99. Uh, so we play as Blockhead Ricky, yeah that'll do, who gets a call from a random guy wanting an egg from a warehouse. I mean I don't know why he couldn't just buy an egg and paint it purple, but anyway that's our job so we'll go do it. Now this is sort of a point and click slash puzzle game where we have to pick up items, put it somewhere, pick up more items and put it somewhere else. Yes, pretty much. Uh, now as for achievements and trophies, the majority are pretty much just story related. They're essentially for just picking up all of the items that we need. And all in all, this will take around 20 minutes or so. So with that being said then, l -l -l let's do it. So... As usual, we'll obviously start a new game. Make sure to click new game. Um, now, if uh, we can't skip the intro, basically, if you accidentally click the intro, you'll go to the first level, but we actually need to answer the telephone, press the A button to spam through the dialogue and the A button to pick things up, then just continue on in front of you. Uh, head to the left and then into the right door here. Uh, you can press the X button to go a lot faster if you want. Uh, but, um, I mean, our character, Blockhead Ricky, goes plenty fast enough. So pick up the gold stein, go to the back and try to open the door. Again, we could, we're just going to smash through the dialogue with all, uh, just with the A button. Um, go ahead and speak to uh, <laughs> old Chunky Nose right here. Spam through the dialogue once again. And then what you need to do is go back to where the door is. And then to use your inventory, you can just press the A button, scroll up to the gold stein, and it'll normally automatically do it for you. Then go off, and then you can press the left or right bumper to get off your inventory. So go back and speak to old Chunky Nose, and he'll be all like, well, thank you. Now, I could've, he could have got that himself, but never mind. Head through the door, and to the left door. And then we go turn to the right, and we're going to speak to this guy, old Midget Mask. Yes, he actually wanted to be called Midget Mask. He could have called him Bald Mask, or... Bold face, but there we go. Uh, so if you accidentally clicked the skip tutorial, this is where you'd start. So um, again, obviously just make sure to do the tutorial. Anyway, pick up this card from the ground, turn to the right and go through the gap. And then turn to the right again here and to the right through the next opening in the door. Uh, we're going to have a look at the floor and now we can put this card into the water. So you should, uh, you should only be able to click it once and then it'll automatically do it. Um, there we go, so as long as you've got that, cleaned off the bloody card, L1 button or whatever, and head back through, you'll get the achievement there called the badge card 1. Uh, speak to the guy directly on the right, or examine the door, and we can let ourselves in through, to the main warehouse, Auraria, Auraria. So, take a right, and go down, not where I'm going, sorry, just down this one here, and then what we're going to do is head to the, basically the end, have a look at this box to find some feed, feed Sneedon Seed, um, and <laughs> once you've picked up that, we can head back, head to the left, and then go through the sort of gap in the wall right here, and interact with this big chunky pea thing, uh, interact with the uh, documents, and then you can press the left bumper, uh, that's fine, as long as we've got the one piece of paper. That is a strange machine, Jesus. Head back, and now what we can do is go past the gap right here, and what we're going to see is another little machine. There it is. Recycle reward. So, put the piece of paper in, and we'll get a fish coin. <sighs> Smells a little fishy, if you ask me. <laughs> but from here, we can turn around. Go past the warehouse workers, who are not doing anything, by the way. And then we'll take a right, and we can interact with Chef Mustache. Give Chef Mustache the uh, key, and we'll get a hot dog, a fish hot dog, a fish dog. Blech. Sounds disgusting. So we're going to continue heading down. And uh, we are going to go through this lovely little door. Head through it. And what you're going to see is more warehouse, of course. So take a right. Uh, sort of just nip past the boxes here. And you can see a big machine right in the way. Um, we're just going through this little gap here, which is on the sort of right-hand side. Can be, uh, might, can be a little bit difficult to see sometimes. What you're grabbing is a whole keg of mustard. Uh, put the mustard on the fish. 
and that just makes it about 10 times worse. Uh, but if you like a fish dog, then who am I to blame you? Your toilet must be incredible to put up with that. Uh, so we're <laughs> heading back through the gap anyway. And now uh, we're just going to go straight on. And then in the middle of these sort of containers right here, you can see the laziest warehouse worker. And he gives us a cap in exchange for the diarrhea dog, which I assume it would be. That gets us another achievement, the fish dog with toppings. Uh, the toilet will break. Now head basically straight through and have a look in this uh, gap. Go to the right and then continue on to the right. And we're just basically heading up now. You're going to see this giant, massive worker. Jesus, on a Buddha, man. And then straight through into the laboratory. Uh, have a look on this table to grab the giantest battery that you will ever see in your life, I expect. And then we can just keep going straight through into the next room and uh, grab this purple thing off the table and speak to guy with moustache and rabbit ears for some reason. Uh, so you do need to speak to him. That'll get us another achievement for the badge card too. Interact with this machine and get the hell out. Again, I do apologize if I'm going a little bit fast. Feel free to slow the video down if you'd prefer. Uh, grab the clearance three badge and straight into the next room. Take a right. And we're into this little delicious room. We're going to grab a chunky bit, big bag of seeds for another achievement. And wherever the hell we're putting these things. Right, take a left and just basically go back through the door. See, you flying through it now, huh? Uh, go straight on. And straight and straight and straight. Again, you can press the X button if you want to sprint ever so slightly. Then take a ne uh, right into the next door. And now we're in the hallway of mystery. So in the hallway of mystery then, continue on. And then we are just going to go right. And then we're going to go through this next door into the party room. Hey, he's celebrating his birthday on his own. We'll take a slice of cake, say happy birthday, but not give him a card. I'm sorry. I'll bring one back, buddy. Once you've got the cake, head back and through the right door here into the washing machine room or something. And grab a bone. Doggy wants a boner. Right, from here, go to the right, and the right again into the next room. Continue on and head left. A couple of warehouse workers not doing anything. Interact with the fire here, and now what you need to do is put the uh, cake on fire. So, well, not the cake, but the candle. So, uh, again, make sure to click on the cake so that you get the burning candle. And once that's done, we can just back out of the inventory and head back on ourselves. So, to the right. Take it back now, yeah? To the right again, and straight through D door. I wonder if there's anyone called True D door. There's got to be. And I won't stop until I find her. Uh, right, so from here, just continue on straight. And then take a left. Hello. And then just nip through this double door on the right. Right, I tell you. Right from here, take a left, and you're just going through this gap. Again, can be kind of hard to see sometimes, but over the plank, and interact with the chicken. What you're going to do is give the chicken the seed, and the seed will plop out a delicious egg covered in, well, chicken dump. So we'll just give that a wash. There we go. Clean it with your jumper. We're all good. So uh, take a right back through the double doors again. And then from here, we are going to be taking one delicious right. And just sort of keep heading straight past the old fish dog man. Why is there a fish dog? I don't know. Head to the right in the door anyway. You wouldn't like that in a factory, would you? Uh, continue on and interact with this machine. Uh, in, well, in fact, we have, to, we have to put the battery in first. That makes all the sense. So pop the, <laughs> pop the battery in. Back out of your inventory. Back out, my friends. There we go. Now we can use the machine, and you're going to use the egg on it. And that... How did the key come out of a chicken's butt? <laughs> I feel like that's going to open up a whole load of jokes. Anyway, there's the chicken egg achievement, and we've got the key, so we can head back now. Come on, guys. Ten minutes left. We got this. From here, turn left. And go it's sort of in the middle of the room now. We'll say in the middle of the warehouse. Continue on straight. And that's our destination, straight for the ladder. So press the A button again, and we'll climb up. And with the dog, Jesus Christ, that's the scariest looking dog in the world. You're going to give him the boner. Uh, just the regular bone, not your bone. Um, no, don't do that. Otherwise, you'll be arrested, I expect. 
so we can unlock the door with the old key, plus get an achievement as well. Now we're in like this weird sacrifice room. I haven't seen these in many warehouses, but on the pedestal here to the right and in the middle, place the birthday cake. And what that'll do is open up a doorway in front of us. Slicey! Right, next up, we're going to grab the golden bell. It's going to get us another achievement called, funnily enough, the golden bell. And then we're just going to head all the way back out. There we go, all the way straight through to the door again. And we've only got two achievements left now, actually, uh, within ten minutes. So we can drop back down. Yeah, so if you have a look now, you should be on ten achievements. So uh, dropping back down and heading to the left. And we're going straight through to the next door. Hello, Mr. Baldman. Hitman, if you were... Well, I've said the joke before, the S Hitman. If you put the words together. Head to the right anyway, and now we're going to go all the way to the back of this room, past this little ladder, to the left, and through the trap door. <gasps> oh my god, it's a wonderful world of Harry Pothead. Uh, go down, and then what you need to do is interact with the water and place the golden bell. Doing it once should suffice and be enough, so we can just press the right bumper. Now you can just climb across. I'm pretty sure you can't fall off or anything, so you can try, and if you die, then try again. But if you don't die, then you can carry on try. And then you can pry the... Yeah, let's just carry on. So, a little bit of a puzzle room now coming up. So, this uh, with this one here, what you're going to do is interact with this uh, once, twice, and that should open up the door. Head into the next one. Have a look at the right-hand side frog statue again. So, once, over to the left, and interact with it once, and twice, and thrice. That should open up the next door. So head through and we're going to interact with the right hand side one again, so that's once. And now go to the left one, or so the middle one, and that's once, twice, and that's it. So twice there, and on the right hand side statue again, that's uh, three times you need to interact with that last one. So one, two, and then three. Into the next one then, left statue, we are going to interact with this guy once, twice, and thrice. So three times. Interact with the next statue here, uh, right in front of us. That's once, twice, and thrice again. Uh, turn around to the right, you should see a door open now. So we need to head all the way in here for another frog statue, which will be once, and once only. So back out, go away. Interact with the uh, statue on your right. Once, twice, and thrice, and now that should not open up a door. We need to interact with the left one again. So again, that's once, twice, and thrice again. Now the door should be open. Ta-da! And now we can just carry on going straight. And oh my god, what the hell? Turn to the left. Uh, interact with the water here. And what you're going to do is put the cap in the water to get a hard hat filled with water. It's incredible, I know. Uh, but it does look nice here. Angry looking weird frog statues and stuff. Anyway, head to the opposite side of the room. We're going to see a ladder we're going to climb up. Uh, up we go, and up we go, and up we go, and up we go. Right, interact with the lever here on the right. That'll pull it down and we can head into the next creepy room. Go to the left, through the door, take a right, and through the door again. And now we are back in the warehouse, as if by magic. Take a left. Go past worker man. Continue on straight. And we are going to take a left, go down the spooky stuff, and through the door again. We've got the old key. Now we're into what looks like uh, starting to come up to a torture chamber or something, which is nice. Head through the door on your left, and we can pick up the trowel, ignoring the obvious looking brick grave there. Get your buns out of there, huns. That's some creepy stuff. Uh, take a left or right. We need to just go down these steps. And uh, pick up the fishing rod there from the table. Once you pick that up, turn directly... No, in fact, we're going to the... Yes, we're going back up the stairs first. Sorry, get a bit ahead of myself. We're not going through the door first, the frozen door. Because we need fire for it. So back up into the main warehouse area. Take a left into the door. Next to the old schnitzman. Uh, can uh, go to the right. And we are going to take a right again. We're going to 
um, use this hard cap filled with water to grow a flower. And then what we're going to do, we'll get the achievement for that. What we need to do then is use the trowel as well. So make sure to use the trowel. So we'll scoop the flower into our hand and we can pretty much just leave the trowel there. Now I think we're all good. Yeah, all good in the hood. Uh, so we've only got one achievement left. That's for basically more or less uh, ending the game. So taking a left back into the main warehouse area. Oh, if you love my voice, you'll love this walkthrough. <laughs> so back down then to the right. Unlock the door with the old key. And then what we can do this time is just head straight down the left-hand side stairs. And we are going to, I don't know what had just happened there, but we'll take a left into the old library. Um, interact, uh, put the flower there with the weird headless statue. Uh, okay, things are getting a little creepy. What the hell is that on the wall? Uh, so have a look, again, ignoring everything, but what you need to do is just use the key with it. And that will set the key on fire. We'll just, uh, <laughs> well, I gotta go. Catch you later. Please don't haunt me. So now we're going to take a right and go through to the double doors here, the frozen ones. And now we are entering a new room again. We're going to take a right again. And then we're going to interact with the pick up the jar of green worms. Under the warehouse. By the way, if you work in a warehouse or a factory, this is all what is underneath. Uh, so you might want to go and check that out. There's all like skulls and bodies and stuff. Um, so go straight back up the stairs. And through to the main warehouse area again. And up and down and up and down and up and down. So through to the left, past the old schnitzel man. From here, what we're going to do is now uh, take a left. We haven't been left yet, have we? Ooh, spooky. So uh, straight in front of us is the frozen door. And then what we need to do is head down. Now, this is where the colourful... Oh, it's, in fact, it's not quite here yet. We need to get the fishing rod first. Sorry, still a minute and a half away from the grabbing the colourful egg. But once you've used the fishing rod, uh, rog, we will grab the fish. Ha, fish! And then straight back up and through the frozen door. And then from here, go straight. Take a right. Go back into the main warehouse area. And then from here, we are going to take a right through the, uh, basically back down the ramp through the next door. You, what the hell was that? What the hell? You, get the hell up, man. Anyway, uh, straight through downstairs. Take a right into the frozen doors once again. And now we're going to take a left. Left, left, left. And then what we're going to do is interact with this golden... Well, we're going to speak to Thomas the Tank Engine, the fat controller, if he was skinny. Uh, pick up the golden Steinenbergen. Not the old uh, Weinstein, because... Uh, <laughs> damn it, that perv's in prison. Uh, go back through the single frozen door. And then what we're going to do, we are actually going to take a right through this next door. And, whew, it looks spooky, but it's not so bad. So what we have to do then in this old bumhole machine, whatever it is, we need to put a fish in there, and then it'll fart out a little thing. <sniffs> there we go. And then interact with the bathtub. Uh, for some reason, this is basically fish guts. So and there's a hell of a lot of fish guts for one tiny fish, but there we go. So make sure you filled it up there with your Gordon Steinbergen, and then head through the frozen doors once again. Take a left, all the way to the end, and now we're going to give the skinny controller the... In fact, no, we're not doing that first. Sorry, we're heading to the right, using the golden stein on this weird machine. And then what we're going to do after this is absolutely nothing. We're actually just going to go ahead. We, uh, we don't have to speak to the skinny controller again. You just put that in. Then we can turn to the left. That actually opens up the door now, straight in. The elevator up and down and up and down. This is where the colourful leg is. So just uh, keep following along here. So we need to do is head um, basically straight in front of us. Past the uh, sort of in between now the two bits of water. Keep going straight. And then what we need to do, we're going to need to take a right in just a moment. But keep going straight on. So take, in, take it sort of left around. Past the old chef statue. Now we're going to take a right. And... 
Chada. This is what we came for, and that is it. It's just one big egg. Now, this is the last achievement, so if you want to, you can actually just stop the game now. Make sure you've got all 12 achievements and stop. But the end of the game is literally a minute away, so I'm just going to show you the end anyway, because I'm nice like that. Uh, so, um, yeah, that is all 12 out of 12 achievements. It's uh, not a bad one for Under the Warehouse. Um, yeah, um, but basically I am pretty much just going to leave it here now. Uh, just keep following along until you find the egg for the most dissatisfying ending ever. So just want to say thank you so, so much for uh, playing the game and watching the guide. If it did help, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members as well. So thank you so, so much. There's the old midget mask man. Speak to him and that's it. So thank you so, so much for watching again, guys and cows. I'll see you in the next one. Big old chunky love.